continuing to give you the news of the day. We know a lot of people might use a beautiful weekend to go mm -hmm. outside, do some fishing. Yeah, the summer weather in the Midlands often entices anglers to take advantage of Lake Murray as well as Saluda and Congaree rivers. But if you're a fisher, should you catch and release or should you take home what you reel in? News 19's Rachel Rip has what you need to be aware of when it comes to mercury levels in fish and what's safe to eat. According to the results of a national survey of high-frequency fish consumers in the U.S. by the Environmental Research Journal, as many as 19 million people in the U.S. who ate fish that they caught themselves three or more times a week were exposed to mercury concentrations high enough to result in adverse health effects. That essentially means we need to be watching what we eat, and that includes the fish we eat from the Saluda and Congaree rivers, as well as Lake Murray and Lake Watery. So where does the mercury come from? According to fish expert Sean Wittenberg, president of mercury-conscious seafood company Safe Catch, there are small amounts already within fish, but it's supplemented. When you burn the coal in the smoke is elemental mercury, HD. That elemental mercury goes up within to the smoke and into the environment. And as it gets exposed to water, um, a new organic compound is formed called methylmercury. And methylmercury is a very dangerous compound. It's a neurotoxin and it's sticky and it likes to stick to plant life and small microorganisms and things like plankton. And then small fish eat the plant life and microorganisms. He says all of this is connected, our environment, the purity of our food and our health. SCD Hack lists fish advisories on their website. For example, saying you should only eat one meal of largemouth bass a week, one meal of bofin per month and no restrictions on white bass. The pollution of today doesn't instantly end up in the fish. It has to work its way through the environmental cycle. Wittenberg says he hopes that through education, like checking DHEC's website before going fishing to eat, and being more environmentally conscious will help reduce this pollution. But Wittenberg says omega-3 in fish has great benefits to your brain, muscles, and more. It's about being more aware of the risks and educated on the rewards. In Lexington County, Rachel Rip, News 19, WLTX. According to Wittenberg, you should be eating two to three seafood dishes a week to get the correct amount of nutrients. And DHEC says here in South Carolina, it's safe to eat what you catch, but it depends on where you're fishing. The state health agency is responsible for testing all bodies of water. You can use the DHEC South Carolina Fish Consumption Advisory website to check your favorite lake or river before you head out.